So there's been some excerpts from Tom Bower's book. I picked some ones out that I found interesting. He writes about Charles that by July 2018 he had never really understood Meghan or what she wanted. He talks about his nutmeg's relationship with Thomas Markle. Quote, that week, Charles' irritation about Thomas Markle's TV appearances, especially his criticism of the royal family, came to a head. Can't she just go and see him and make this stop? Charles berated Harry. Charles could not understand Harry's explanations. Harry didn't tell his father about Thomas's fury about being ignored by his daughter. Harry explained that Meghan refused to telephone Thomas Markle because she suspected that his phone was not in his possession and his email account was compromised. <laughs> Or had the squad started with her knowledge? Carrying on, quote, The inconsistencies of Meghan's excuses not only irritated Charles, but perhaps also the Queen. Bower writes that Charles, Harry and Meghan were at the Castle of May in Scotland. The Queen had a conference call with them. He writes, she joined Charles in a conference call with Meghan and Harry. At the outset, Charles and his mother urged Meghan to fly to America for a reconciliation. Meghan said, It was completely unrealistic to think I could fly discreetly to Mexico, arrive unannounced at his doorstep as I had no means of secure communication with my father to a location and a residence I had never visited or known in a small border town and somehow hoped to speak privately to my father without causing a frenzy of media attention an intrusion that could bring more embarrassment to the royal family. The conference call ended with both the senior royals vexed. Harry at some point said, they fundamentally don't understand. <laughs> the book talks about how Nutmeg and Harry thought they had Diana's magic how the Sussex brand would be as successful as Barack and Michelle Obama. Quote, Meghan's manner towards her staff had become self-centred, manipulative and demanding. Meghan became increasingly fragile, demanding that palace staff view the world from her perspective. In self-defence, she demanded retaliation against her critics. Well, we all know about that, don't we? Then we get to Australia. Quote, Meghan was allegedly abrasive towards her four female staff and even towards the British diplomats after Australia. The Sussexes had convinced themselves that their Australian success blessed them with Diana's magic. Nutmeg could not understand that Diana had won the public's affection after years of work. Just before the Jubilee, the quick visit with Harry and the Queen, basically to arrange 
well, for Harry to demand to go on, on the balcony. I'll, I'll, I'll just leave Tom to say. Quote, Harry and Meghan were left festering with fury after the palace denied all their demands at the Jubilee in return for returning to Britain with their children. Now, that's emotional blackmail. Anyway, that's what I've got for now.